Harvard Revolution can imply a complete turnaround of the prevailing situation, creating a new order in the process. Simply put, it's a big change. And which one of us hasn't felt the need for a significant makeover in terms of personal style? A new look can be incredibly empowering, and that's exactly what I had in mind when I attended the Beauty Revolution in Santon recently. Here are some of the game-changing ideas I encountered. Beauty is subjective, but the event had everything on offer to appeal to a broad range of tastes and opinions. There is a deep rumbling in the world at the moment that cannot be ignored. The movement towards self-love is on the rise. The beauty revolution has started in Johannesburg and it's changing the way we perceive beauty in a huge way. Let's check it out. Beauty specialists and innovators were on hand to help visitors discover ways of making the most of nature's blessings and to take selfies in Wonderland. Social media is changing the business of beauty, with bloggers, bloggers, YouTubers and influencers flooding our feeds. I want to have a contrast today with this gorgeous satin skin, high glass eye and then a stark matte lip. I would suggest just a little smidge, tip of your finger and sort of just push that in until you get that desired sort of like just glass finish. The brains and beauties behind the beauty revolution are quite a pair. I'm going to try to steal a moment to find out how this dream came to life. This fresh take on beauty was conceptualized by Yasmin Katoria and Kanchana Mudlia. Kanchana, this is a mind-blowing event. What inspired the Beauty Revolution? Beauty Revolution was a combination of bringing a community of engaged online users and fans and creators together of makeup and beauty and taking them into a real-life festival, which is what you see being born here today. What does the Beauty Revolution mean to you? I find that the biggest purpose that we have is to use beauty as a force for connection and not as alienation. And how do we feel empathy for each other and connect on a way that brings us all closer together? Disruption is a business buzzword currently, and something similar is happening in the world of beauty. I'm off to meet and greet some influencers who I've been following or stalking on social media, and I'm super excited to be meeting them in real life. Social media offer platforms for a new breed of beauty and lifestyle guru. Tacky's many celebrities and influencers are happy to be airbrushed to perfection. What is your take on this? It makes me worry for those who look up to them because they immediately want to look exactly like them. And us as ambassadors, as influencers, as celebrities, we just need to be natural and let people know that they're okay for the way they are. They're beautiful. They must just own it. There was a buzz of positive energy at every stand and table. I am feeling so loved up by the beauty revolution and I think it's time to catch some power talks by some well-known powerhouses. Experts presented master classes in makeup techniques with the art of the perfect eyebrow being the focus of much attention. Surprise! So the right way of doing your eyebrows is to do it first. Unaise, what is the one eyebrow tool that everyone should invest in? These things are so important and you want one eyebrow tool? You need two brow tools to achieve the perfect eyebrow. One, you need a pencil to outline your eyebrow, and two, you need a powder to set the eyebrows. What are the eyebrow trends right now? The Instagram eyebrow is a big no-no. The fluffy eyebrow has now come into fashion. So very full, powdered eyebrows are very in trend at the moment. Beauty isn't purely about outward appearances, because you also need to feel self-confident and secure. Leanne, you are the founder of End Girl Hate. What is the purpose of this initiative? The purpose of End Girl Hate is really to unite, inspire and empower women and girls. And now it's really just for these women to come together to build networks and to build a sisterhood community. In a world where women are often pitted against each other as competition, how do we change this mindset? We need to be the change and that's what I do. We need to start with our girls teach them to have a better self-esteem, to think better of each other and themselves, and we won't have the issues we have now. What is your template of diversity? When you say to a brand, you need to be inclusive, you need to be diverse, these are our value systems. It is so inspiring to be chatting to Tando Hopper, the first albino model to grace the cover of Vogue. Tando, what are you celebrating here today? 
I'm celebrating a revolution. I'm celebrating the fact that everybody here today, brands, people, we're all coming here to kind of create a culture of intrusion with respect to beauty. And I really am beginning to see the changes of the beauty industry. And we're working together to create those changes. So I'm quite excited about it. Being in the public eye, you have to have a thick skin. How do you deal with the trolls and the haters? And does it ever get to you? I think one thing you learn as you go along is emotional resilience. And with me, I have a mantra that says, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough. That is my mantra and that helps me drown out the voices of everybody else. Also support. I surround myself with people who just give good life into my energy system. What is your message for anyone struggling with their image out there? Validation is not a cure. You have to be able to be brave enough to love yourself. They say that the opposite of courage is not cowardice, it's conformity. You need to be able to feel like you are enough. You need to assert it within yourself. And then when you get to that point, everybody will yield to the definition that you have of yourself if you say, you know what, I am enough. The panel discussions featured well-known media, entertainment and fashion personalities. We may work on the same show together, but we almost never get to see each other. Krishna, you're on the panel discussion. My identity is not a trend. How do you relate to this? Well, like being in this industry, being an actress, I still find that within this African context, we are continuously being put into a box. I have not received an audition or a casting where it's not Indian girl or cappuccino girl. I mean, what even, you know, is that? And I believe that this discussion is really going to open up the dialogue about why this needs to change. A lot of what we see on social media is smoke and mirrors. How do we stay sane in this airbrushed world? People need to realize it's taken a whole team. Usually, for us to look that way, we don't roll out of bed looking that way. And I think it's just as important to share those beautiful moments as well as to share the real moments where, yes, I take care of my skin, but I still wake up with a pimple every now and again because I'm human, you know, and I have a rocking bod, but I still wake up on Sundays feeling a little bit bloated and not feeling myself because I'm human. This was also a fantastic opportunity to try new products and looks, including the latest developments. There is a huge shift towards reclaiming our natural hair. How did this shift come about? I think, you know, it's not a country thing, but a global thing that media always define beauty by very straight hair, light skin, blue eyes. And that's what I think we all kind of work towards. Um, I worked for a big multinational where we would sell relaxers and straightening because that was 80% of the market. Then people went through extreme lengths that damaged the hair to get that. And I think, you know, that's where the natural hair, you know, rocking your natural hair comes from. It's like, how do I look after my hair to get the best out of it? So, you know, when I see a little girl with a big fro, so I'm like, oh my gosh, your hair is so amazing. So it's our responsibility as women to also remove the stigma around hair type and not use words, oh, your hair is too thick or too thin. It's like you have beautiful hair and teach them how to look after their hair. I am in beauty heaven. Today we are being spoiled with power talks, mentors, celebrities, meet and greets, the business of beauty, and dreamy Instagram-worthy spaces, all in the name of the beauty revolution. 